tal amigos? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network y esta vez tenemos un show especial desde Houston, Texas en la celebración del Shell Eco Marathon 2014, un evento realmente espectacular donde estudiantes de Sudamérica, de Centroamérica, de México, de Canadá y de Estados Unidos se reunieron para participar en este concurso que organiza Shell y en el cual el objetivo es recorrer la mayor distancia con la menor cantidad posible de combustible, ya sea diésel, gasolina, energía eléctrica, híbrida, un evento realmente espectacular. Así que vamos a arrancar de inmediato con la presentación del Shell Eco Marathon 2014 en Houston, Texas. Now we're here in Houston for the Shell Echo Marathon with Ignacio Gonzalez, who actually pretty much runs the show, right, Ignacio? I, I, yeah, absolutely, yes. So tell us about it. What's the Echo, uh, the Shell Echo Marathon, please? So the Shell Echo Marathon is a global global program by Shell where we challenge high schools and universities to design and build vehicles uh, that are fuel efficient, and they come and compete uh, at the uh, competitions, not over speed, but on who gets the most uh, efficient fuel mileage. So our, our program is basically three annual competitions throughout the world. One in Asia, one in Europe, and another one in the Americas. So you are now in the Americas event, which is being uh, held here in Houston, Texas. So we uh, we basically have teams here for, you know, from all over the Americas, from not just the U.S., but Canada, uh, Latin America as well. Uh, we have about 120 plus teams here on site that again, that again are competing for not who's the fastest, but who can actually build and design a car that gets, you know, the most uh, miles per gallon. Yeah, I, I heard some amazing numbers, like Correct. reaching like 200, 300, yeah. 500 miles a gallon. Yeah, well, you know, last year the overall winner actually gained, you know, up to over 3,000 miles per gallon, and that was the... Uh, That's like hard to even comprehend. Yeah, I know, it's amazing what these uh, what these students do with, I mean, this is kind of what they, they set out to do, to, to build a vehicle as, and they And they, they look at it from all angles. You know, they, they typically form a team uh, that is kind of multidisciplinary, and they have one who designs the body, another one who does the the engine, another one who does the the wheels, the weight, and they, so they take every factor and you know anything they add to it. If it doesn't float in the air, they don't add to it because they want to be as efficient as possible. So, you know, we, the way the competition works is uh, there's a there's a winner for each fuel category. So, for example, we have diesel, gasoline. Uh, LNG, electrics, uh, so each category has a winner okay. uh, and so you'll see the mileage vary depending on the fuel type and we try to then kind of come up with an overall win winner uh, that's kind of where we do equivalence everything and that winner last year was at the University of Laval from Canada with I think uh, up to more than 3,000 miles per gallon so we're hoping to see who's going to break that this year. And uh, the winner besides if there's any prize that I don't know if there is or not and you can tell me. Yep. Uh, I guess that the exposure is like that. What really does for the kids later on in life? I guess. Huh? Yeah. So this is not so much about you know the the prize. I mean they do get a cash prize, which all, they all invest back in their yeah. team. Uh, but this is about the experience. This is about you know universities and, and high schools that don't have a program for to, to to do this. I mean you know schools have call you know football teams and basketball teams, but what about a program that challenges you on math and science and engineer and engineering so they come here for the experience I mean this these teams spend years getting up to the point where they can be here uh, they're sponsored by a, a faculty a professor it's a class for many of yeah. them uh, and the journey to get here it's one where you know they have to rise above a lot of different challenges so they're all here for that experience and for that you know for that challenge and and the learning and it's amazing the stories you hear from schools where you know some of these students were at risk of maybe dropping out of school yeah. and now they're you know they're in math and science we have some wonderful stories of students who have gone on to college and you know their admissions uh, professors you know pointed out their eco marathon experience as being a, a significant part of what they got why they got accepted into college and an engineering program so that really is the the biggest value the main goal the, really yeah. for everybody right yeah but also for shell I guess I mean this is pretty extreme uh, yeah examples of efficiency Correct. But I guess like maybe some good idea comes out of here for the for the company oh no definitely I mean as a company you know we're about technology and innovation and this is a this is a way in which we can you know apply that and, and share that with 
with young people and everybody who works this event from a shell perspective always walks away you know learning something I think our goal long term for this program is to you know maybe apply some of these technologies in the real world especially in what we call the urban category yeah. of vehicles that are supposed to be designed you know closer to being street ready uh, so you know we're going to Detroit next year to, we're going to be held, holding the event in Detroit for a few years we're going to be closer to the automakers so that's going to give us an opportunity to you know even to, more exposure exactly and to maybe see how you know if, if some of these uh, efficiencies can apply to you know commercial vehicles and for everyday people yeah so so uh, you said you're moving to Detroit, and the reason that just like not only being closer to the um, outer industry, but this is like the way the program has been, right? It's a few years. That's correct. And yeah, then it goes uh, along to another city. Yeah, that is correct. We started in California, uh, and then we we were in Houston, you know, the, the energy capital of the world. So we, we're now going to Detroit, and that's the intention. That's the vision: is to have you know to expose this program to as many people as possible, and to you know travel around. You know, maybe not even just the U.S but actually the Americas right yeah. uh, and you know in every city has a different you know value for the students and and definitely going to Detroit is about being closer to where you know the innovation and mobility exist and having these students then kind of become a part of that legacy and and sharing and, and seeing if we can actually you know change how autos are made there yeah yeah so let's go a little bit backward uh, Luis and tell us how the schools or students can get enrolled in this like people who are not participating in this yeah so really any student who is interested in uh, learning how to how to become involved can uh, connect with shell we have a website is a uh, shell.com backslash eco marathon and uh, we have you know instructions there on, on basically contacting us and and walking through the the rules and requirements it's a it's a pretty uh, you know it's a pretty complicated project it's not you know you can't just build a car and be here I mean it requires some uh, assistance from your from your professors from your school uh, and some technical uh, advice from from our from our teams as well but that's the beginning of the journey yeah. and we you know we're pretty hands-on in helping teams uh, to understand them and to help them figure out what they need uh, a lot of times we advise them on what kind of fuel may make sense for them depending on the resources they have uh, so we're you know we're very helpful on that front so any you know any student or any really any professor uh, anybody who's in a uh, a university or or high school uh, can contact us and, and the, the requirement is uh, to be enrolled obviously in high school and university correct. but there's no age limit there's no no age limit just as long as you're a high school or university from any place in the Americas uh, we'll be happy to you know talk to you and see about how you can become part of this yeah. challenge and, uh, so most schools, aside from I'm hearing of some of the participants here, get some grants from some, some like maybe the, the school district or like the government or companies, and then they come here and Shell supports them in other ways to participate. Right? Yeah, so that's part of the learning, right? That if they have a project, they have to also find funding for it, and they have to find support, and that's another skill set that they have to learn. Is you know you can you can be the best scientist in the world, but if you cannot if you know how to communicate, interact with people, interact with people, if you know how to sell your vision and your project, you're not going to go many. Yeah, places. it's pretty interesting. One of the professors here from a, a school in uh, Washington State was telling me the story that one of the students uh, wanted to text uh, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the people in the team. Said, "No, you have to go and talk exactly, to them. yeah, exactly." So, so that's part of the that's part of the project. So they're tasked with raising the funds that they need, the support they need to get here. You know, Shell gives them a small stipend that's kind of mostly sort of logistical, uh, but they're they're in charge of raising their money and their funds, and so that's that involves their creativity some of them are very creative at reaching out to you know corporations or yeah. seeking some of their parts from par from sponsors uh, from many different types of organizations so that's that's part of the competition yeah pretty amazing and once they get here to Houston well next year to Detroit shall helps them with some of the expenses for this right correct correct yeah yeah what, what's what's that? Yeah, I mean again it's very it's kind of very minor in our part I mean we want to equal the level playing field so you know with their we, we have the facilities here we provide them with a lot of support on you know where to stay uh, and food they have you know all the food here uh, so that's kind of the extent of the work that we do to support them but you know the challenge for them is to 
you know, raise the funds themselves. Okay, now, now briefly, like in a, in a minute or so, once they're here, there's the competition. So I see a lot of this. Is, we're like, a, this is what the convention center here in Houston. Yeah, so you're in the you're in the uh, George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, and we're next to Discovery Green Park downtown. Okay, so here I see the teams are like prepping the cars and like getting ready for the competition. Then there's a track out out there. So how the, does the competition go? Yeah, so the, the the teams get here, and they you know their first their first goal is to make it through technical inspection. Oh. So it's our inspections on safety, and there are inspections on you know have you met the requirements and do you do you qualify for those? So that's the first test, and a lot of them you know some of them walk up to the technical inspection, they don't pass, so they have to go back and work on their vehicle. That's a race on its own. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm telling you, some teams come here you know the, the, for their first year, and they may not be able to make it through technical inspection because they can't they don't know how to fix some part of their engine. And they don't have the part here. Exactly. Yeah. Even though they're all very friendly and they help each other, so we see a lot of like you know fraternity and helping of each other. So once they get through technical inspection, they now they're now free to start going to the track and start kind of qualifying. So they'll you know they'll be doing runs throughout the weekend. So the, the competition lasts two days. Uh, they did you know a day before this practice runs, uh, and so once they pass inspection, they're out in the track and they're running uh, laps, and that's sort of where they get to then they get uh, their measure. timings and measurements. Exactly. So yeah. it's not a, a race in terms like we will expect for a Formula One race or something like that. It's a race in terms of they going out on the track and register the best times and uh, exactly. in numbers. Yeah, and we you know we kind of we kind of stagger it by by category. So every hour you know there'll be a different group of vehicles. We'll have you know a certain fuel type. Like we'll have a run for diesels or then a separate run for gasoline, uh, battery power, electrics. So each one has its own different run. But that's basically the goal is to you know to kind of to do those runs and and, and get the, your best mileage. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. So you say they there was one already uh, in uh, Thailand. I understand. Uh, for yeah, Asia? yeah, we have an event in Asia, right? And we have one in uh, in Europe and one here in the Americas. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So we're gonna keep uh, going there. Uh, like you're really learning from these kids. It's pretty amazing when you yeah, see when no, they're like 15, 16 year old kids like doing these amazing things. And uh, so congratulations to Shell for this uh, amazing program. And again, the website for people to yeah. learn more about it. Yeah, the website is shell.com backslash eco marathon all one word yeah yeah and since uh mini round school is one of the requirements maybe i'll think about going back to school myself <laughs> yeah a lot of people want to do that a lot of folks <laughs> so want to go back fun. to school yeah Excellent. absolutely thank you luis uh, i'm ignacio i'm sorry yeah. and i uh, will be we'll check in a shell marathon here and eco yeah. marathon here in houston thank you thank you for being Bye. here appreciate it Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.